Don't just be another foreigner, be a local Lao Wai. Welcome back to Local Lao Wai, the show that gives you everything you need to know for a smooth transition to life in China. I'm Donnie Newman. Now that we've gotten familiar with a good cross-section of hotel accommodations in China, from five-star luxury to average everyday hotels and youth hostels, there's only one next logical step. No hotel at all. Yep, that's right, I'm talking about camping. Now, camping might be the first thing that comes to mind for a city-dwelling Lao Wai, used to skyscrapers, traffic, and people everywhere, but it's precisely because of this that it's so important to get out and enjoy the great outdoors once in a while. So keep watching this episode because I'm going to meet my friend Paul to set up camp here in China. Theoretically, it doesn't take much to be able to go camping. You need a tent, cooler, some folding chairs, and lanterns, so you're good to go. Cooler, check. Tent, check. Folding chairs, check. Oh, lantern. Got it. Check. And larger cities will have camping supply stores where you'll be able to pick all of this up. Now, if you don't have a camping store near you, you can go to a large department store like a Walmart or Carrefour to still have the supplies you need as well. And if all else fails, you can get on Taobao, China's eBay-like website, which will have virtually every piece of equipment you can think of. Once you've procured your supplies, all you then need to do is find a plot of wilderness to call your own. Ah, the great outdoors. I must say, Donny, I was a little skeptical when you told me about this camping idea, but it's quite a refreshing change, right? Yeah, I wouldn't exactly call this an escape. It might be hard for some foreigners to imagine a China that's not a sprawling urban metropolis, but it does exist. Simply take a bus or drive out of your city, find a nice village back street, and do some exploring. The problem with camping off the beaten path, however, is its questionable legality. No security guard or bao'an is going to pass up the chance to get some camping foreigners off the property under his watch. Add to that the issue of safety and some other camping options start to become much more attractive. Okay, so it's fairly obvious we're not going to be able to stay overnight here in this park. But if you want a camping experience without having to worry about breaking the rules, you could always go to a designated campsite. Now, these campsites are admittedly few in number, but if you're in a city with a large concentration of Lao Wai, you're pretty much guaranteed to have something along your city's periphery. Ah, check out this place, Donny. Yang Shuo Camping, just outside Beijing. It's got a campsite, it's got uh, RV hookups, it's got hot showers. Wow, check out these pictures. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's at exactly a place like this where you can find a great balance between safety and the independence that comes with camping. Although with that independence comes the responsibility to prepare your own food and supplies beforehand. Ah, oh, I guess I forgot to bring my own food out here. I think I want a strawberry Twizzler. To see how camping's really done here in China, now we're here at an outdoor specialty store. Let's check it out. All right, so let's check out some of the equipment they have on sale here. Hmm. This stuff's all pretty cool, but I really don't know what the difference is on. Time to get some expert advice. I'm here speaking now with Wang Wei, who works here at one of Beijing's largest outdoor and camping stores, Sam Fu Outdoor Equipment. Mr. Wang, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. So first off, can you introduce uh, Sam Fu? Yes. Sam Fu Outdoor is China's largest outdoor equipment chain store. We boast the largest selection of professional outdoor equipment in the country. We have been in business for 15 years. So what kinds of equipment would you be able to find here at the store? When going hiking, you'll need three main pieces of equipment. A backpack, hiking shoes, and clothing. These three are necessities. If you plan to be out overnight, 
you also need a sleeping bag, tent, and moisture-proof pad. For more expert excursions, you could also use a GPS device, walkie-talkies, and navigation system. So are you an outdoor enthusiast yourself? Yes, I also enjoy camping. In China, we usually go camping out in scenic areas. Camping is an environmentally friendly activity. Conservation always comes first. It's not only good exercise, but also a wonderful experience for body and mind. Alright, so now we have all the information you need to get out and enjoy the great outdoors. Maybe next time we won't have to set up camp in Chaoyang Park. See you soon. Tune in next time when we take you on a tour of bookstores here in China. In the meantime, be sure to keep sending in your questions at locallawy at bon.tv. I'm Donnie Newman, and we'll see you next time.